Hi, I'm Mark Shrews from Peter Shrews & Sons. I'm Operation Manager. My name's Darren Shrews. I look after crop maintenance out in the field. So I control uh, weeds, insect pests and diseases. We've got our farm down in Devon Meadows, southeast of Melbourne. We've been here since 1989. Our main crops are leeks, lettuce, radicchio. We do a bit of kohlrabi and baby wombok in the summer. Now, I've always been passionate about cover crops. I love managing the ground and, and something primeval about turning soil over and smelling soil. Yeah, just keeping life going in that soil. Is, that's what I love doing. I'm passionate about trying to cut down their chemical input. Back in the 90s, we exported a lot of leeks to Japan. They want a clean product. I would have a program where I'd spray the leeks and it got to the stage where I wasn't controlling the thrips and we had two spotted mite come in and they got a resistance build up and it got worse each year, applying different chemicals. So I got in contact with our entomologist, Paul Horn. I knew nothing about beneficial insects. He showed me the different types that were controlling the certain pests. And when I got down and I inspected the crops, I would look for these little beneficials and it opened up a whole new world. I got so excited about implementing IPM on the farm. Every spray that you put in, every input that you put in the farm, you create another problem. I just have to monitor and make sure I look after those beneficial insects. What we're trying to achieve is as much biodiversity as possible. Our approach to our, our crops is rather than trying to treat problems, we try to give the plant as much strength as possible. The more biodiverse our farming system is, the more competition there is that gives the disease less chance to take hold. Seeing soil laying fallow, I always thought was a waste of time, so you want to keep it busy as you can. Always loved rotating crops. We play around with different mixes and different types of cover crops for different purposes. Big game changer the last six years has been, been the use of, of mature compost. And we've used probably 25% less water in a very dry summer than we would normally. Compost is, is definitely a winner. What I do differently now is scout the crop first and I look for the problem and if there's an issue I wait till it gets to a certain threshold and then make an informed decision of going out and spraying and using a softer product. Sometimes you have to be patient. If it's not right, do nothing. You get a lot more benefit from doing nothing, which is hard for a farmer to do. The changes have affected our business by lowering the input costs, use a lot less chemical. We have a, a cleaner product at the end by keeping the soil alive. It actually helps with the biology of the soil too. It doesn't affect that as much. When we first started farming, Dad did it very much in a conventional fashion. So it was lots of mineral fertilisers and lots of chemicals used to uh, control pests and diseases. But we found that it was basically farming a chemistry set. So you were constantly chasing your tail. But as we've gone to more of a biological point of view, it's just levelled all that yeah. out. And now we just find it it's so much easier. We can plant on time when we need to. There's a lot less work that goes into preparing crops and, and preparing ground for cropping. We haven't missed a planting for two years. Drainage number one, organic number two. You get those two mm. things right, just about everything falls in place after that. What I see in the future too, I'm always looking for new chemistry, yeah, softer chemistry, that'd be fantastic. And another thing too, there's robots everywhere out in the field. I'm seeing a lot of people starting to play around with it now, which is a good thing. And it's happening worldwide. Our farming approach is everything with a long-term view. But we're constantly looking at putting organic input back in the ground, so cover crops are part of it. All our green waste goes back out where it came from. We use a lot of other organic inputs and mature compost, so it's basically building up that organic carbon. That carbon is the base. That's the stabiliser for the system. That builds a biodiversity, and that's what we're after. We're farming biology, basically. Mm. Living so, soil, you have to treat it like a living, breathing organism by feeding it and doing what we do. It's alive.